okay while ryan is doing that make sure that you guys are giving the thumbs up to this video man make sure you guys are dropping in the comments 30th anniversary happy birthday to reason make sure you guys are just you know hit it up man let's blow the stream up we appreciate you guys for coming through to hang out with us you know what we're Absolutely. in the studio with ryan right now man reason studios this is amazing i've met so many people that i probably should have never met all right i'm like the fly on the wall this is great <laughs> okay i did tell i did tell my my stream audience and everybody that i would try to pull something out of you but you already gave it away that you wouldn't say it oh oh they were asking to we like were, you know we had this whole stream a couple of the last couple of streams actually when we saw this was coming up we had this whole thing about are they gonna release this? Are they gonna release that? Yeah, Are they gonna yeah. talk about it? Are they gonna tease it? Are gonna, is he gonna spill some beans? No, I can't. Uh, I, I cannot spill no beans. There'll be no beans spilling for me. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's um, it, it's it, like when they told you about object. Yes, and you said you wouldn't tell us the name. Yes, you did a good job. You know what I used to do? I used I I have a couple of uh, examples where they used to give me this stuff. Like and this is part of this is the third reason why I say don't give it to me till it's ready. Okay. Um, because I'll install it and then I'll make a video and it'll be just in the sidebar bar browser, you know. Oh yeah. And and people will see it and. Oh yeah. Back when before Reason was high resolution, they would see the thumbnail that was like, I don't know what it was like a hundred pixels by a hundred pixels, of a device and they would blow that thing up and they would analyze these mosaic squares of color. Oh, yeah. And they'd be and and they would draw conclusions from it. They would be like, "Oh, I can clearly see that it's got an envelope follower." And it's like, <laughs> "What?" You know. Um, but it's one of those things. Listen, I'm 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 guilty. I won't tell you what I did release, but I'm I'm guilty of it. Somebody saw something on my stream. Oh, really? Yes, Ryan. A really? Reason device? You, yes, Ryan. Oh, tell you, us, tell us. Spill the beans, Chris. Spill Ryan, the beans. Tell this us. is old. It's old. It oh, already happened. Well, that's great. Right. Water on the bridge. Clearly, we're well, not. We weren't mad about it. I'm so. not gonna relive that moment. I want to hear. I want to hear. Nah, oh. We're talk about something else. Oh, listen. But I do remember that. It was like, hey, Chris. Let us know in the comments if minimize you want Chris, that screen. We want Chris to tell the story. Let us know in the uh, comments if you want to hear the story. Uh, um, I'll, I'll tell you a different one. There was one um, that happened. Um, do I mention the website? I could mention. Maybe I'm. You know what? I'll mention the website since I've said I'm a bean spiller. Uh -oh. um, I don't think it's. I don't think these things are bad. I think these things are totally okay, just natural. Um, we sent out a press release about a new version of probably it was a new version of reason i'm assuming i don't really remember the details okay um we sent out a press release like a week ahead of schedule to to a couple of key music tech websites so that they would have the story and they could write their articles and do their own things and get their content ready and you know kind of nice. be in the loop but right. when they when we do that in the industry it's called um sending out an embargoed press release and meaning it is embargoed is held until a certain date yeah. so they know like okay we've got the info but obviously we don't go we don't go to press with this until the date that we've been told is okay okay so we did that and you then did that about what about we did whatever whatever it was reason oh, okay. something reason nine or whatever it was I don't, oh I don't, maybe it was about I'm trying for you guys uh, I'm, I'm trying i don't i honestly don't remember <laughs> what it was um but like, yeah we just sent it for reason 13 of oh, course. oh uh, <laughs> we just sent one that's right that's right yeah it's, it's the new the new holographic image generator of this course, in reason 13. with it's ai gonna, yeah the, yes. that's right it's gonna everything happens via ai uh -huh. and we figured out how to uh, exceed the speed of light it's gonna be yeah. amazing reason 13 they be said the it was telepathic you yeah, just yeah. think it you think it. That's yeah, right. You That's think right. it, and it just comes straight from your brain. That's into correct. The doll. In fact, little little do be known, I'm I'm auto generating this Don't with my thoughts from Reason Thirteen. It's, yes. a, it's a very it's it's awesome. so advanced. It's really cool. Telepathic. Okay, telepathic. Not too mind. much. Not, not too much. much. I should. I've said too much. You're right. Not That's the, way too much. We'll wait until one hour when we announce all okay. that stuff. No, I shouldn't. Uh, I'm, I listen. I'm being right. sarcastic. If you guys are don't don't hold me to this. This is a celebration, guys. It's just a celebration <laughs> to celebrate. Right. All of the success. I mean, imagine that. Imagine 30 years of success and 30 years of right? innovation and yeah. 30 years of creating something new and allowing, you know, giving people the access to create music like that in itself. Yeah. That's the announcement. You know, that's that's the celebration. It's right. just thinking about the journey like you were given that history of it starting from rebirth and everything like that. And 
the ways that we find ourselves between reason three, five, the different versions. And yeah. Just coming to today where it's like I was just helping somebody and it was like, hey, what version are you on? Because he couldn't open the file. I'm like, mm. <laughs> reason 12. I'm like, listen, all of those other versions. I love you guys. We're where we are now. I'm looking to the future. Yeah. Come on, right. man. Come on. Reason plus. Join the wave. Yeah. It's just a great. It's just great to just be able to be where we are now. That's the celebration to me. Uh, yeah, I I agree, and you're right. I mean, there is something to be said, and and this is where I I can talk to you. Um, you know, I, I this is where I always I, and I I strongly hold on to this. I don't want to lose this. I don't okay. want to lose the fact that I when I'm hanging with you, I am talking to you reason user to reason user. Sure. I'm not talking to you as reason studios content guy on live stream host like that's not i forget that so, yeah you know when we get in these moments yeah ryan i forget you're you're very important and i'm just chris right you no, know, like no 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 that's not what i'm saying that's not what i'm saying but what i'm saying is that i when when you said you said something like imagine having 30 years of success right, and, right, right. and i i feel i feel this like user level pride in that we're gotcha. like yeah you know like it's like when you're you know, if you follow a band that's been around for 30 years yeah. and they just keep putting out good albums and you're just like, wow, I really, you know, I've been on this journey with this band that's like, you know, and and there's an element of that to, Absolutely. you know, and listen, let's 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 have the honest conversation that like bands and albums, you know, hasn't been total success. You know, I mean, we mentioned Holly Hoopa. People were saying they miss Holly Hoopa. And it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, well, that there was a, you know, it's like the critically acclaimed album that didn't sell well. I mean, right. that's, you know, that's sort of where Holly Hoopa went. It just didn't get enough users and it, and it eventually had to fold. I have three uh, balance interfaces sitting in my closet. Really? Uh, that, uh, yeah, you know, that are just my sort of leftover stock of balance interfaces. So, you cool. know, there are there are moments in the in the history it has not been it's not like we're not saying that like th this has just been home run and right. three pointers for 30 years yeah. but but there what there has been um even at those things even in Holly Hoopa and and in balance and stuff like what there has always been is this focus this through line which is where you and I come in on the user side which yeah. is that like helping creative people realize their creative spark and make music in a way that feels like it's the it's the most natural expression of what they want to get out yeah that has been around for 30 years and and you know and and whenever anything new comes out you know like players was such a great example of that where i was mm. like i didn't even know i needed them right and then they came out and i was like how have i lived without them you yeah. know they were they just instantly they they didn't they didn't change the music i made but they changed the way i made the music i made yeah for the better yeah, you know yeah yeah they either like unlock a lot out of me and i like can like make a ton of stuff mm -hmm. or they put me into this situation where it's like okay don't use them too much and like go back to just playing so oh, it, right. i go back and forth with right. it but just speaking about like what you're saying i can definitely be like a fanboy a lot of times because i but now you got to get some history from me right yeah it's yeah. like when did i start like i started i was in like middle school like a kid you know yeah. i'm like 30 you know i'm 33 now but like yeah i was like a middle schooler with reason three and i just remember talking to my buddy and saying I think I want to make music. I think I want to make beats. Yeah. I was playing trumpet and I was doing all this other music stuff, but he introduced reason to me via what he said was someone had given it to him. And <laughs> you know, yeah. Chris, Chris, you can say you've got a cracked copy. <laughs> no, I can't. Can I can't. Say, I can, can say that. I can never admit it. Listen, I, I'll, I'll be the first to admit it. My first, my first copy of reason cracked. And I, now I bought rebirth legit. Yeah. I, I bought it. In fact, I bought it for my girlfriend as a Christmas present. Yeah, um, and we used that, and that was fine. And I knew those guys. I was friends with them. This is yeah. this is my. I'm going to tell my my cracked copy defense story. Was that at any moment I was friends with the the Propeller Head guys and the Reason Studios guys, and I could have reached out and been like, "Hey, like maybe you give your buddy Ryan a free copy because yeah. he's he's a broke you know kid," and I could have done that. 
but the cracks were just so easy. It was oh it was goodness. literally easier at that time than it was sending an email and waiting tell for a response. Something, Ryan. <laughs> Let me tell you something. What you just said is what that person claimed that they did. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what they I don't I don't think that they knew anybody <laughs> at Reason right, Studio. Right. But they they at least told you that you were getting a a first generation right. share instead hey, of Hey, check this yeah, out. This yeah. is my buddies. He whatever. Yeah. My point being is I sometimes I fanboy a little bit because I started so early and it was the one thing I had tried other stuff. It was the one thing that like clicked in my brain. It was the one thing that clicked for me. It was able to let me make music. Yeah. Make, they make the kind of music I want to make. Right. So there's a there's a deep love for it for that. So sometimes I can I know I can be that way. I know you guys reel me back in sometimes. Don't let me go off the deep end too much. But that being said, yeah. I I appreciate the doll for what it is. Yeah, that's just me. Yeah. So and and we have that deep rooted feeling from like I said way back then. Reason three, you know, when I first started making beats, I made some money from some beats. Uh huh. I went and I purchased a copy of Reason. Right. Yeah. It was that moment of okay, now we're like a business. We're like investing. We're right. Like making right. music. We're okay. We're marketing. We're, that's right. So it's like just growing from there to this point where yeah. I, now I'm sitting here celebrating with Reason Studios. 30th anniversary you know what i i remember very distinctly the first time i had earned enough money from music that i could pay my entire electric bill i just wow. I, re- I looked at it and i was like hey i earned like whatever it was like 118 dollars from music yeah. and my electric bill was like 117 dollars and i was like I'm going to have a dollar left over oh and goodness. pay my electric bill with music. Like, <laughs> and that was at, an, let me tell you, that was at a time when I used to make choices of like, okay, I'm going to let the electric bill be one month behind so I can pay the phone bill and then I'll pay the phone bill this month. And then next month that'll be one month behind and I'll pay, you know, like it was th- oh those sort goodness. of times, you know? Yeah. And having that moment, like, oh, I, I remember those things really, really important. Oh wait, hang on a second. Okay. We're, we're getting, that's a ring. Marcus is uh, trying to send us a feed from the room. Let's check in on the other party. Okay. So I'm going right, to, I'm going to bring that in for a second. She's playing violin. Oh, right we now. got a performance. Panel? Okay. Yeah. Okay. This, y'all. Oh yeah, she is. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn on the sound, but turn it down. So hang on a second. Okay. He's showing some people watching the party. Oh, is she? We got a live. We see. So, yeah, so Michael is lined up. This is the this is the party. That, that's it's so weird. I'm watching the. Oh, oh that was an in from Marcus. Okay, thank you, Marcus. Um, yeah, that's the party that I that I I'm not in, <laughs> but I'm enjoying the party here for sure. I hope so, man, for sure, I've been enjoying the party for sure. Um, listen, I um, uh, I, what I was well, just to wrap up the thought we were saying. Yeah. Um, so I remember that moment of you know when you start to monetize your passion yeah. and the pride that you take in yeah. that. You know. Um, I still have a little of that, uh, you know, I, I play, you know, I play like bluegrass gigs and stuff yeah. like that. Let me tell you something. Uh, your buddy Ryan is not going to retire on his bluegrass, uh, little, like playing a farmer's market on a weekend or okay. a, you know, the, the gig like, that. Okay. so I, you know, but you make, you make tip money and stuff like that. Right. And, it, you know, and I keep that in a little, like uh, a little, I've got a little like rubber band and I, and I take the, whatever tip money I make from that little thing that I did. Um, sometimes you get paid for the gig too, but, um, and I, I keep it on my dresser next okay. to my because I am even though it is a completely insignificant portion of my overhead costs in life and income and all the things you need to do to generate, I'm still really proud of that, mm. you know, that income. And it's like, yes. yeah, I played, you know, I played songs I wrote yes. for people and there and I got thirty four dollars today. <laughs> A win is a win. A win is a win. That's yeah, a win. That's a win, right? That's a win. A win. And yeah. you got to take your wins. You just add them up together. I watched one of your live streams, and um, I just happened to tune in. You know, whenever I see your live streaming, and f- folks, let me just, I'm going to put out the plug. If you don't know Chris Reed's live streams. God, oh, they're not worried about yeah, me. Yeah, I, listen, I know. He doesn't want me to do this, but I'm going to do it. If you don't know Chris <laughs> Reed's channel, and you don't know Chris Reed Beats uh, on YouTube, and the live streams he does, like, you what are you doing? What are you doing here? Just, just go just sign off from this live stream right now. Don't do that. But <laughs> but but when we're done here, go watch his stuff. They're fun. Anytime I see them on, I just love to tune in and watch them. And I cool. tuned into one randomly, and you were talking about something. Who knows what you're talking about? But it was cool, and I'm sure I was probably what, donuts. Was yeah, whatever it was. It yeah. was. But while you were on the stream, somebody <laughs> bought one of your beats. Yeah. And I and 
I, man, if I knew which stream that was on, I would tell people to go watch that timestamp because... What the same thing I was talking about before about the the genuine honesty authenticity of like you are who you are yeah. uh, on in your content that's who you are and that's a moment where that shined through in such a big way because someone bought your beat and it was it's like it's my tip money at the at the farmers market it's like right. it it did not change the course of your day your week your month you know none of that stuff yeah and yet you were like it was an amazing yeah, feeling yeah this is the thing Ryan like. I've sold beats before yeah. and I wish one day people can have a conversation about that side of things. Mm -hmm. Like one video I want to do is how do rappers and singers, how do you actually pick a beat? Because we have this whole beat marketplace where essentially you upload beats to Airbit or to beat stars and then randomly people will just purchase your beat and yeah. then they yeah. will not create a song because for the millions of beats that get bought, all year long, I never hear a song from, oh, yeah, this came from right, right. this artist from BeatStars. I never hear songs. That's right. That's just me off on a tangent. How do artists pick beats? But what I'm saying is that you, you upload this track, you sell it. I've sold beats before in person, right? Like I go to the studio, I go with somebody, say, hey man, I'm looking for some beats. It's like, okay, cool, I'll sell you 10 for this, or well, let's do a, a agreement. Well, you know, I've sold beats before and made money before with my beats. Beat CDs, right, definitely right. selling beats, got no royalties. They probably made all kind of number one hits. I've done that before and made money and was able to like pay rent, pay yeah, bills, yeah. right? But that little twenty nine ninety nine yeah. from BeatStars, right? That all of a sudden was like, oh my god! Yeah, somebody just bought my beat. Yeah, oh my, oh my, what? Whoa! It quit was, my day job. <laughs> like, I don't was, know why it was oh, so amazing. It was for a, that moment. it was a sweet moment. It was a really sweet moment. You were genuinely touched, and it yeah. meant it meant something. And you and the part I loved was you weren't like and this is what i love about your content and your channel and your the authenticity you have is you weren't afraid to show that to people sure you know you could have if you if you were inside your head about like i gotta be cool and like right. kind of put up some oh, kind of look, thing you know <laughs> look, like y'all just sold another beat yeah yeah like another one <laughs> yeah you know like yeah you could have you could have played it up but you didn't you 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 were like you know you played it the way that yeah. i knew it was feeling to you and i loved that stuff so oh, so listen okay now listen chris i i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm uh, gonna release you from my right. I could hang out with you forever but um I want to uh, if you want to hang here hang in this control room because yeah, I'm man. loving having you and and I'm I'll pull you back in we'll, we'll chat sure, a little more sure. but but I see we've we've had some new uh, what is that what's the uh the gaming thing a new a new player is a new, a new challenger yeah, a new challenger that's a new right. challenger has approached that's right that's right so I'm going to bring I'm going to bring in uh, another friend over I'll see here you later okay cool thanks chris thanks for hanging with us yeah, um guys like I said you got to go to chris's channel if you don't know about it already you got to check out chris reed beats on youtube the guy i mean he doesn't he's on our channel too he's on the reason studios channel but he's got his own channel where he's putting out his own stuff and it's all good uh, and if you didn't know him already, now you know him. Just an absolute sweetheart of a guy uh, and someone.